and it is our commitment to provide um, all of our children and students with safe, modern learning environments that they not only need, but that they absolutely deserve. Something new, a fresh start, an opportunity to create a learning environment that's great for our young scholars here in the city of Baltimore. Net Zero is not only about just the equipment and the building, but it's also about the practices of folks who are in the building. You have two exact schools who have two of the same infrastructure, spaces, and all of those different things like that. brings more attention to Baltimore City Schools and the opportunities that we can create for our students in other places of the city. We have growth in our technology and in this building, the bones and structure to last. I like sports and I'm so thankful for this amazing new gym that we have. That includes locker rooms and an electronic scoreboard. We give a dynamic space for innovative teachers to express themselves and to use this canvas to teach. The ultimate goal is the building as a learning tool, creating a space that responds and can change with its students' needs as they evolve and as time changes. You, we have areas where typically you wouldn't see into a mechanical room but we've got windows in the glass so that students can look into that and they see behind the scenes about what the building is like. We'll talk about you know, how you develop this curriculum around the building and about around net zero and engaging with um, the both school communities on, again, the, the most successful part about a net zero school is about the behavior of the staff administration and the students, how we conserve energy in this space. And then also the opportunity to create energy with our solar array and the energy that we generate we'll use in consumption. A lot of natural light so that we don't have to have lights on all the time. And we did the upfront work of putting in the equipment, HVAC, the lighting to do that and then it's how we use the equipment. So the solar tracker is a larger panel, panel system that moves in relationship to the sun. Right outside of the science labs, so you're not just teaching somebody about a part of science, you're actually there being able to experience it. And I think that one of the interesting things that we all say is that most people, children learn outside of the classroom. So our most memorable learning experience happens outside, and so we're able to provide that within this building. Parents want safe environments for their kids, and they want to feel that their kids are in spaces which respect their kids and respond to their kids' needs, and hopefully these schools do that. It, it will have immediate impact on anyone who walks in these buildings. It, it, it's, it's breathtaking, it's different, it's new, it's vibrant, and is a good place for our young scholars and our staff members to spend a great portion of their day. The new school means a lot to us because even though it's our last year attending Hollabird, this is going to give us bigger opportunities and more chances to get up to where we need to be. For all that, I say thank you for helping our school be a better place for progress and pride. We cannot wait until the end of COVID and be able to get into this building and have some fun. Yeah.